one of the most serious geriatric diseases in the East as well as the West. Let us take a look at the collaborative treatment system of the Oriental and Western medicine in stroke to promote the treatment rate and decrease the sequela. At any hospital, most of the patients in the Department of Neurology are apoplectic patients. A stroke in Oriental medicine is defined as a disease that causes conscience, motor and speech disabilities due to an occlusion or rupture of the cerebral vessels. A stroke also called an apoplexy is the most serious adult disease in the East and the West. The diagnosis of strokes has been in existence since ancient times. However, many people still fear this disease because it is incurable. A stroke is a cerebrovascular disease, a case where the constricted cerebral vessel ruptures due to pressure or external stimulus is called a cerebral hemorrhage and the case where toxic wastes build up in the cerebral vascular wall, narrowing the space so that the blood cannot flow properly, is called cerebral infrication. If there is a problem in the left brain, the right hand and foot can become paralyzed or cause sensory disorders or visual disability may occur. And if there is a problem in the right brain, then disabilities will occur on the left side of the body. Once a stroke occurs, in many cases, the patient either dies or is left with a sequela that makes it difficult for him or her to live a normal life. Therefore, the disorder causes suffering not only for the patient, but for the entire family. In Oriental medicine, a stroke is seen as developing when accumulated stress and overexertion come together with a weak constitution. 예, 우리 한반도 역시 중풍이라는 것은 어, 내 혈관이 어떤 원인에 의해서 좁아 좁아져서 막히는 뇌 경색이라든가 그다음 어떤 원인에 의해서 내 혈관이 터져서 뇌 출혈을 일으키는 이두 가지 증, 증상을 다 포괄해서 중풍이라 그럽니다. 그런데 뇌 경색 같은 경우는 대부분 어떤 음식이라든가 혈관이 노후된다든가 이런 원인에 의해서 우리 한방적에서 이야기하는 습담이라는 a cerebral infrication patient in his late 30s. In oriental medicine, the basic principle of treating a stroke is to improve the qi and blood circulation. It is not an exaggeration to say that the amount of qi circulation restored during the one to two months of stable period will determine the degree of secula. The most general treatment for strokes is acupuncture. First, a filiform needle, as thick as a strand of hair, is applied to the occluded meridians related to the brain. This is a treatment to improve the obstructed qi and blood circulation. This treatment also prevents the muscles and joints of the hands and feet from hardening. Moxibustion is a treatment in oriental medicine that cannot be left out in treating strokes. Oriental medicine sees stroke patients as lacking the yang qi, the energy that preserves life. Therefore, moxibustion warms the meridians of the entire body and promotes the restoration of yang qi. And moxibustion warms the paralyzed parts of the body to return them to normal. Also, like acupuncture, it prevents the muscles and joints of the hands and feet from hardening. A 
Applying giant moksha on several points of the meridian on the stomach will also promote qi and blood circulation. Cupping is another oriental treatment for strokes. In stroke treatment, dried cupping is used more than moist cupping, which extracts blood. Amazing improvements can be obtained, especially by stimulating the back and stomach meridians with cupping. In the case of cerebral infarction patients, drug therapy from Western medicine is given while performing the oriental treatment of acupuncture or moxibustion. Anticoagulants to dilute the thrombus that cause the cerebral infarction or antithrombines to prevent the thrombus from occurring are given. The emergent treatment for a stroke patient, whether it is a cerebral infarction due to an occlusion of the cerebral vessels or vast bleeding from a cerebral hemorrhage due to the rupturing of cerebral vessels, is surgery. Simply put, when a patient who has experienced the stroke comes to the hospital, the Western doctor will first perform emergent treatment, then the Oriental doctor will improve the overall qi and blood flow of the body. The collaborative treatment of Oriental and Western medicine not only promotes the treatment quotient, but the greatest advantage is that it minimizes the sequela of strokes. It is a fact that a stroke is a frightening disorder. However, it is a disease that can be prevented. These are the entreating words spoken in unison by Oriental and Western medical doctors. Prevent strokes. They say strokes can be avoided if you are aware of the warning signs given by the Oriental and Western medical doctors on the indications of strokes.